came to CSU today because we have a very special penguin named Tess. Um, she's 40 years old. She is the oldest African penguin in captivity currently. She is a record holder for a female. No females ever made it to 40 before. Tess came in um, for a cancer that has been on her face. Here's the gorgeous girl. <laughs> I'm Haley, I'm a senior student. We chose to come up to CSU because they are the closest ones to us with the capability of doing radiation therapy for animals. Plan-wise, we wanted to get a better image of the tumor site. So we wanted to make sure that there, weren't, there wasn't spread to other areas. It's measuring at about one by one centimeters. We then moved to radiation therapy, where she was treated focally for the disease um, in front of her eye. Everything in a penguin is an unusual treatment. Certainly, we have never done radiation on any of our zoo animals that I know of. We were able to, to treat with her getting the radiation therapy, um, and then she made a very easy recovery. And any time a zoo animal leaves, uh, they have to be in quarantine for um, a couple weeks usually. And then when she's out of quarantine, she'll be reintroduced into her exhibit. Hey, you guys! Yeah, they're back! Good job. Yeah. We would love to see Tess make it to be the oldest penguin on record, which would be 42. Um, but we, she's just a special bird and we'd like to keep her around as long as possible. So even if we don't get a cure, at least we're buying her some good quality of life and a little bit longer life. The African penguins have a, have a sad story. Um, they, we will likely watch this species go extinct um, over the next 15 to 20 years are the estimates. They are endangered. They're on a species survival program for them. I think there's hope that by propagating the species in captivity, we can eventually help the wild species recover. And if we can maintain a healthy genetic population in captivity, um, eventually, if we can get the planet back to a healthy state, they could be re-released. If we can make people aware, with awareness comes action, and with action comes change, and then ultimately we help.